During the last ice age, massive glaciers reshaped the northern continents, creating a frozen wilderness where only the toughest species survived. The giant short-faced bear dominated these frozen lands. Taller than any living bear and incredibly fast, it evolved to control the open ice age plains with unmatched power. Standing over six feet at the shoulder and weighing nearly a ton, this species was the largest bear ever known. Its size alone made it one of the most formidable predators on Earth. With long, powerful legs, it moved faster than any modern bear. These adaptations allowed it to cross icy ground quickly and chase prey over long distances. The Pleistocene landscape was a mix of tundra, grasslands, and frozen lakes. Temperatures dropped drastically, pushing animals to their limits in this unforgiving ecosystem. The giant short-faced bear roamed huge territories. Its endurance allowed it to travel tens of miles each day in search of food or fresh opportunities. Its sense of smell was extraordinary. In the open Ice Age wind, it could detect carcasses from miles away, guiding it across frozen plains with precision. Scientists believe it used multiple strategies to survive. It scavenged whenever possible, but also hunted actively when conditions allowed. In the Ice Age hierarchy, it often competed with dire wolves and American lions. Its size gave it an overwhelming advantage in these confrontations. With a single charge, it could scatter entire wolf packs. Few predators were willing to challenge such a massive and intimidating rival. Its jaws were incredibly powerful. They could crush through frozen bone to reach nutrient-rich marrow, essential for surviving long winters. It lived entirely alone, avoiding other predators and even other bears. Solitary behavior reduced competition and kept confrontations rare. Even the bitter cold of night didn't stop it. The bear continued searching for food, guided more by scent than by sight in the darkness. Mammoth carcasses were rare but valuable. When one became available, the bear could feed for days, gaining vital calories for survival. For early human groups, this predator was a serious threat. Its strength, speed, and unpredictable behavior made every encounter dangerous. It often shadowed migrating herds, waiting for weak or injured animals to fall behind. Patience was one of its most effective strategies. Unlike ambush predators, it relied on endurance and speed. This made it perfectly adapted to the wide open terrain of the Ice Age plains. At the borders of forests and tundra, it launched fast attacks. These areas funneled prey into narrow paths, creating ideal hunting zones. Its claws were shaped for gripping icy ground, this gave it stability on frozen slopes and allowed powerful acceleration when chasing prey. Its territory could span hundreds of miles. These enormous ranges ensured access to prey, carcasses, and seasonal opportunities throughout the year. Its hearing was finely tuned for open landscapes. Across the frozen plains, it could detect distant movements long before they came into view. Even under deep winter snow, it followed scent trails with remarkable accuracy. Each step brought it closer to hidden prey or fresh remains. When confronting the American lion, size decided the outcome. Most lions backed away quickly, avoiding a deadly fight they couldn't win. With a towering posture and thunderous roar, it relied on intimidation. Few animals dared to challenge a predator of this scale. The Ice Age rarely provided easy meals. The bear spent most of its life searching, covering endless miles to find enough calories to survive. Crossing frozen rivers was risky. Beneath thin ice, freezing water waited. One misstep could be fatal in these brutal conditions. When winter tightened its grip, scavenging became critical. Frozen megafauna remains helped the bear survive when hunts failed. Its forelimbs were incredibly strong, capable of breaking bones, digging through ice, and overpowering struggling prey in seconds. 
The open tundra winds actually helped it. Airflow carried scents directly to its nose, guiding it across vast frozen distances. The bear often targeted the weak or injured. In a land where survival was brutal, even small weaknesses decided life or death. Despite its size, it could move with surprising silence. Short bursts of speed allowed it to close the final distance swiftly. Although known as a predator, it was also an omnivore. It dug for roots, plants, and berries, especially during scarce winter months. Winter scarcity forced it to explore every option. Even early human shelters attracted its curiosity when resources were low. Deep snow drifts provided natural camouflage. From here, the bear could launch sudden attacks on unsuspecting prey passing nearby. Among Ice Age predators, it held one of the top positions. Even larger animals respected its strength and kept their distance. Its long-legged build wasn't just for speed, it supported incredible stamina. The bear could follow prey for hours without tiring. As humans became skilled hunters, competition grew. The bear often approached their kills, leading to dangerous confrontations. In forested regions, movement was slower, but stealth improved. These areas became important hunting grounds during harsh winters. With thick fur and immense strength, the bear endured blizzards that froze other predators. It was built to survive the worst winters. At the peak of the Ice Age, it ruled an enormous frozen world. This was the era when the giant short-faced bear reached its greatest power. To survive the longest winters, the bear carried massive fat reserves. These stored calories kept it alive when food was nearly impossible to find. Hunts often began with a single signal, a sound, a scent, or a distant movement. Instantly, the bear switched from wandering to stalking. Young megafauna were prime targets. Their slower pace and lack of experience made them vulnerable in the Ice Age's unforgiving terrain. In short bursts, it could reach impressive speeds. On firm snow, the bear closed distances quickly, often before prey realized the danger. Once close enough, sheer strength took over. With powerful limbs, it could overpower mid-sized prey in just a few seconds. A successful hunt provided days of food. The bear fed heavily, knowing that long stretches of hunger would soon return. It dominated most scavengers. Wolves, lions, and even large cats surrendered their kills when this giant approached. Unlike pack hunters, it worked alone. This solitary lifestyle demanded constant movement across massive territories. When Smilodon migrated north, rare confrontations occurred. Both predators avoided unnecessary fights, knowing injuries meant death. Human camps sometimes attracted curious bears. Fire kept them at a distance, but their presence was a constant threat. As humans improved their weapons, competition intensified. The bear often attempted to steal their kills, sparking deadly conflicts. As the Ice Age warmed, glaciers began to retreat. Rivers changed, plains shifted, and the bear's massive territory slowly disappeared. With warmer temperatures, forests expanded, Open plains, the bear's prime hunting grounds, became smaller each century. Megafauna populations dwindled as the climate shifted. With fewer large prey animals, the bear faced growing food shortages. Human populations expanded across the continent. More settlements meant more competition and more encounters with a massive predator. The combined effects of warming climates scarce prey, and human rivalry pushed the species to its limit. Survival became harder every year. The final strongholds of the species were isolated pockets of cold habitat, but even these refuges shrank with each passing generation. Only scattered individuals remained during the species' last centuries. Their once dominant presence faded from the Ice Age landscape. 
The final individuals were old, thin, and alone, survivors of a world that had already vanished around them. One by one, they disappeared. No great battle, no final stand. Only silence returned to the ice. Over the centuries, their bones were buried under layers of ice, silt, and time. Thousands of years later, humans uncovered their remains, giant bones that hinted at a forgotten predator. Piece by piece, scientists rebuilt its story, a towering bear that once ruled an Ice Age wilderness. And though the Ice Age ended, its legacy endures in the fossils beneath the frost and in the story of a world shaped by giants.